Hey guys, Blazin here. Today, I'm going to teach you how to optimize your heat combos. But before we do that, I want to show you a few examples of what not to do. Alright, so those are examples of using heat in combos, but like, you know, using it the less optimal way. Uh, those kind of combos are something you will see in, in lower to even like the lower end of intermediate ranks. Especially the first one. Uh, most beginners actually tend to use their heat as like combo filler because obviously beginners aren't well efficient at executing combos. And uh, the last combo example I showed isn't exactly bad, as you do keep some heat, but it can be better, and I will show that off as well. Alright, now here are some examples on how to use heat during combos the right way. Alright, so consider that a visual guide on how to do heat, uh, or how to do combos during heat. Now I'm gonna show you the, the formula, uh, if I could call it that. So here it is, this is my guide on how to optimize your heat combos. Um, so the combo structure, obviously uh, you want to use your tornado move first, then heat burst, and then heat engager into heat dash. So that's the, the structure you should keep in mind. And then to find your highest damaging combo, like during heat, find your highest damaging heat engager, but sometimes that may not always be the case. Like in the case of Jin, I had to use like his second most highest damaging heat engager. And then after heat dash, use your highest damaging mid or low, because when you use heat dash uh, during like a combo, like not to start a combo, but during a combo, uh, any follow-up attacks are severely limited. So you're basically just limited to singular mid or low attacks. So important to keep that in mind. Uh, some other things to note is that uh, un unfortunately uh, heat smashes are actually not good for combos. They actually severely like, I guess they have like damage scaling when, when using it during a combo. A little unfortunate, but I think some would understand. I guess heat smashes are just better during neutral. And then another thing to note is that if you've noticed uh, while I was showing off the combos, uh, in the case of Jin. Devil Jin and Brian, I was able to do at least one hit, or well, either that be a jab or Brian's knee, and then activate heat uh, heat burst, and that's taking advantage of the heat burst's range. So if you're doing a combo and if you can add a singular hit before you can do a heat burst, that'll be great. And then the combo I showcased on Kazuya is an example of 
you know, unfortunately, Kazuya can't really jab or, like, can't do a singular hit before he can activate Heat Burst. He does have one or two that I've discovered, but I just wanted to show that example. You know, like, some characters may not be able to jab or just do one hit before activating Heat Burst. Now, as for a case for something like, say you want to, you know, use Heat during your combo, but you still want to have some Heat left over after your combo. Unfortunately, activating uh, Heat Burst during a combo will stunt your combo damage, so the best thing you can do is just try to optimize that combo as much as possible. Alright, and that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, hope you guys learned something, and I hope to see some really cool-ass combos. I'm sure you guys will add more info in the comments, which is very helpful for me because even I learned something. I know I didn't mention anything about using heat against the wall, but I'm sure you can figure that out now that I've showed you this uh, heat combo structure. If you like this video, please hit a like, and share this video around, and subscribe only if you enjoy the content on this channel. And until next time, peace. Oh, shit.